Hello everyone and welcome to my Can't Hurt Me, Master Your Mind and Defy the Odds audio summary by David Goggins. This book is bonkers. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you straight up, David Goggins, I'm going to do a brief summary of the book and then we're going to go through it chapter by chapter. But if you could sum this up in like a couple sentences, like man up, grow a pair, don't be a B word <laughs> and do what you need to do. And if you think you're tired or you think you're overtrained or you can't handle anymore, you can, you can. It's crazy. Anyways, let's do a quick summary. Then we're going to go through it chapter by chapter. So, Can't Hurt Me, Master Your Mind and Defy the Odds is a thought-provoking and inspiring read that provides valuable insights into the power of the mind and emotions. The author, David Goggins, is a former Navy SEAL, a Green Beret Ranger, something crazy like that. He's an ultra marathon runner. He's an accomplished athlete, and he shares his experience and the lessons he's learned from overcoming significant challenges and adversity. The book emphasizes the importance of having a growth mindset, which involves embracing failure as an opportunity for growth and improvement and pushing oneself beyond one's comfort zone. I'm going to state right now, that is an understatement, and that is a massive understatement. The comfort zone... Yeah, we'll get into that, but yeah, just keep that in the back of your head. It also highlights the power of thoughts and emotions and the need to take control of them to achieve success. Goggins argues that mastering one's mind and emotions is key to reaching one's full potential and achieving greatness. He encourages the reader to develop emotional intelligence, cultivate a positive outlook, and use their emotions to your advantage or their advantage. Through self-reflection and introspection, the reader is encouraged to take control of their thoughts and emotions and to use them to achieve their goal and aspirations, or goals and aspirations. Overall, this book provides valuable insights into the role that the mind and emotions play in shaping our lives and achieving success. It is an excellent resource for anyone looking to overcome personal and professional challenges, pursue their passions, and reach their full potential. If you're looking to take your life to the next level, Can't Hurt Me is a must read. And again, th when you say next level and I say next level, it really is next level. All right, that summary now done. Let's go into it chapter by chapter. I'm going to go through it one by one, and uh, we're going to go and, and do a quick analysis of all of them. So here we go. Chapter one. All right. This is entitled The American Dream. In this chapter, he introduces his story, and he sets the stage for the rest of the book. He provides an overview of his childhood and early life, growing up in a disadvantaged and abusive household, and he goes to great lengths to discuss the abuse that goes on there, and it was pretty bad, uh, and how he struggled with poverty, poor grades, and behavioral issues, but was determined to escape his circumstances and pursue the American dream eventually. <laughs> the author recounts his experience going, joining the Air Force and going through basic training, which he describes as physically and mentally grueling, grueling, pardon me. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, Goggins persevered, and he eventually became a member of the Elite Special Forces Unit, or the Navy SEALs. The chapter ends with Goggles, with Goggins, not Goggles, Goggins, reflecting on his journey thus far and emphasizing the importance of perseverance, mental toughness, and a growth mindset. He sets the tone for the rest of the book by demonstrating that success is not determined by one's background or circumstances, but is instead determined by your determination and willpower. This chapter serves as an introduction to the author's life and lays the foundation for the lessons and insights that are coming up in the forthcoming chapters. Okay, let's go into chapter two. Chapter two, well, this one's entitled The Pain Cave. And if any, <laughs> and he goes to a cave, it's filled with pain. Let me tell you this, again, understatement. Uh, we'll get into that. The chapter focuses on the author's experience of pushing himself to his limits and learning to embrace pain and suffering. I'm going to add in here that when he goes to his limits, I don't mean like, oh, I feel tired or that's enough for the day. I'm talking like literally physical limits, like you can't physically do any more. That's the level that he goes to. Goggins starts by describing his introduction to ultra marathon running and his initial struggles with the sport. Yeah, you know, running 100 miles or something like that. I could see it being a problem, but whatever, he goes for it. Uh, despite being in phys excellent physical shape and having a strong will, he struggled to complete even the shortest of races. He soon realized that the physical limitations were a result, were a result of his mental limitations. The author then shares his journey of learning to overcome these mental limitations and embracing the pain and suffering that comes with ultra-marathon running. He explains how he developed a technique he calls the pain cave, which involves pushing himself beyond his physical limits and embracing the pain as a means of growth and self-discovery. 
Yes, crazy town. <laughs> he goes to crazy town. Um, Goggins also touches on the concept of positive suffering, which involves seeking out and embracing challenging experiences in order to improve one's mental and physical strength. He shares several examples of his own experiences with positive suffering, including his experience of breaking multiple world records and completing some of the most grueling ultra marathons in the world. The chapter ends with Goggins emphasizing the importance of learning to embrace pain and suffering as a means of growth and self-discovery. He argues that it is through facing and overcoming challenges that one can truly test and improve their mental and physical limits. This chapter serves as a powerful testament to the benefits of positive suffering and the author's philosophy of embracing pain and challenge at, excuse me, as a means of growth and self-discovery. My voice cracked there. <laughs> chapter 3 is titled The 40% Rule. In this chapter, he introduces the concept and one of the key principles he used to push himself beyond his limits, the 40% rule. The 40% rule, in a nutshell, it basically states that when one feels like they can no longer continue, they are actually only at 40% of their true physical and mental capacity. That's right. When you feel you are at your limit, you are less than halfway at your actual limit. Let that sink in for a second. Goggins argues that it is only by pushing beyond this perceived limit that one can unlock their full potential and achieve their greatest accomplishments. The author shares several examples of his own experiences with the 40% rule, including his experience of completing 100-mile ultra marathons and breaking multiple world records. He emphasizes the importance of learning to recognize and overcome the mental barriers that prevent one from reaching their full potential. Goggins also explains how the 40% rule to applies to all aspects of life, not just physical endurance. He argues that, it is through pushing beyond our perceived limits and embracing the discomfort and challenge of new experiences that we can grow and achieve our goals. This chapter ends with, Gog with Goggins, and not Goggles, Goggins, emphasizing the importance of cultivating a growth mindset and, again, a willingness to embrace discomfort and challenge. He argues that it is only by applying the 40% rule to all areas of our lives that we can truly master our minds and defy the odds. I want to state right now that it is one thing to write a book in theory and say this is what you should do and this is what a, a rule is it is another thing to actually live the rules and that's what makes Goggins so spectacular is he talks about it but he lives it he lives it first and then he sort of just writes down what he does so this isn't some you know ivory tower theory stuff he lives this and he is all about this so that's what I, I that's what makes this book great in my opinion anyways let's get on to the next chapter the next chapter is called the power of the mind in this chapter, he delves into the concept of the power of the mind and how it affects our ability to overcome obstacles and achieve our goals. He starts by discussing the limitations of the body and how the mind is the only true unlimited aspect of our being, which makes some sense. He argues that it is only by harnessing the power of the mind that we can push beyond our physical limitations and achieve real greatness. He shares several examples of individuals who have harnessed the power of their minds to overcome incredible odds and achieve incredible feats. He also touches on the concept of visualization, explaining how this technique can help individuals tap into their full potential and reach their goals. He also explains how limiting beliefs and negative self-talk can hold us back and prevent us from reaching our full potential. He argues that it is only by recognizing and overcoming these limiting beliefs that we can truly tap into the power of our minds and reach our goals. The chapter ends with Goggins basically saying the importance of developing a strong and positive mindset and the roles this plays in overcoming obstacles and achieving success. He argues that it is only by recognizing and harnessing the power of the mind that we can truly overcome our limitations and achieve actual greatness. All right, in the next chapter, it's titled The Harsh Realities of Life. That's right, reality check time. In this chapter, he discusses and reflects on the harsh realities of life and how they can be used to spur personal growth and development. He starts by discussing his own experiences with poverty and hardship and how those experiences shaped his perspectives on life and helped him develop a strong work ethic and determination. He argues that it is often the most difficult experiences in life that can lead to the greatest personal growth and development. He also discusses the importance of embracing failure and learning from our mistakes. He argues that it is only by recognizing and accepting our failures that we can truly grow and improve. He also touches on the importance of perseverance and the role that this plays in overcoming obstacles and achieving success. 
Goggins also shares his own experiences with the overcoming setbacks and failures and the lessons he learned from these experiences. He, import, he emphasizes the importance of resilience and the role it plays in, in helping individuals bounce back from setbacks and reach their goals. The chapter ends with Goggins reflecting on the harsh realities of life and the lessons that can be learned from these experiences. He argues that it is only by embracing the difficulties and challenges of life that we can truly grow and develop both personally and professionally. All right, let's get into chapter six. This one is The Lessons Learned from Pain. Yes, that's the name of the chapter. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Um, in this one, he discusses the lessons that can be learned from pain and how they can be used to spur personal growth and development. He starts by discussing his own experiences with pain, both physical and emotional, and the lessons he learned. He argues that pain is a necessary part of growth and that it is only by embracing and learning from pain that we can truly improve and reach our goals. He also then discusses the importance of mental toughness and how this trait can help individuals be overcome obstacles and achieve their goals. And let me tell you, Goggins is mentally very tough and physically very tough. He argues that it is only by developing mental toughness and a strong will that we can truly overcome the pain and discomfort associated with growth and improvement. He also touches on the importance of self-reflection and introspection and how this can help individuals gain a deeper understanding of, them, of themselves and their motivations. He argues that it is only by understanding ourselves that we can overcome our limitations and reach our full potential. This chapter ends with Goggins emphasizing the importance of embracing pain and using pain as an opportunity for growth and development. Yeah, and let me tell you, when you look at the examples, he goes into the pain cave. This guy is mentally tough. All right, in chapter seven, this one is entitled The Importance of Mindset. And in this chapter, he delves into the concept of mindset and his role in determining success and happiness. He starts by discussing the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. He argues that individuals with a fixed mindset believe that their abilities and traits are set in stone pretty much from birth, while individuals with a growth mindset believe that they can improve and grow through effort and hard work. This also touches on other authors out there that uh, cover this in more detail, but he goes there and he discusses it, how it applies to him. He also explains how a growth mindset is essential for success and happiness as it allows individuals to embrace challenges and see them as opportunities for growth and improvement. He argues that it is only by developing a growth mindset that we can truly overcome obstacles and reach our goals. Goggins also touches on the, on the importance of having a positive attitude and avoiding negativity. He argues that it is only by maintaining a positive outlook and avoiding negative self-talk that we can truly tap into our full potential and reach our goals. The next chapter is entitled The Power of Habits. In this chapter, he explores the role that habits play in shaping our lives and the steps we can take to develop positive habits and overcome negative ones. He discusses the power of habits and how they can either support or, or sabotage our goals and aspirations. He argues that it is only by understanding the role that habits play in our lives that we can truly take control and make the changes we want to see. He explains the importance of developing positive habits such as regular exercise and healthy eating and how these habits can help us achieve our goals and improve our overall well-being. He also touches on the role that discipline and consistency play in developing positive habits and overcoming negative ones. Goggins also shares his own experiences with developing positive habits and overcoming negative ones and the lessons he learned from these experiences. He emphasizes the importance of being intentional and purposeful in the habits we develop and the role that self-reflection and introspection play in the process. Positive habits and overcoming negative ones is the gist of the chapter and it is required for you to achieve greatness and full potential. In the next chapter, David Goggins goes into the benefits of self-discipline. In this chapter, he discusses the concept of self-discipline and its role in helping individuals achieve their goals and live fulfilling lives. Goggins starts by discussing the importance of self-discipline and how it can help individuals overcome obstacles and again reach their goals. He argues that the self-discipline is essential for success and that it is only by developing this trait that we can truly tap into our full potential and achieve the greatness, the greatness within us all. He discusses the role that self-discipline played in his life and how it helped him overcome temptations and avoid distractions. He argues also that it is only by being self-disciplined and avoiding distractions that we can stay focused on our goals and again, achieve those results. 
He shares his experiences with self-discipline and the lessons he personally le personally learned, part of me, and he, and he emphasizes the importance of setting goals and being intentional in the actions we take and the role that self-reflection and introspection played in the process. All right, in the next chapter, this one is the power of pain. And you'll see here that pain is a recurring theme in this book. And boy, does he go there. Um, in this chapter, he explores the role that pain played in shaping our lives and the steps we can take to turn it into a powerful tool for growth and transformation. He discusses the role that pain plays in our lives and it can either hold us back or propel us forward. He argues that it is only by embracing pain and using it to our advantage that we can truly grow and transform. The author explains the importance of developing a high tolerance for pain and I think on, in the whole world, nobody can handle pain better than this guy. Uh, and it's so high tolerance for pain and discomfort and how it can help us, again, overcome obstacles and achieve the goals we're looking to achieve. He touches on the role that persistence and determination play in this process, as well as how much you can, in terms of how much pain you can take on, and how these traits can help us push through even when we are facing the most difficult challenge. Challenge is part of me. The chapter ends with Goggins emphasizing the power of pain and the role it plays in shaping our lives. He argues, again, that it is only by embracing pain and using it to our advantage that we can truly grow and transform and achieve greatness in all areas of our lives. All right. Chapter 11 is titled The Laws of the Mind. In this one, he discusses the role that our thoughts play in shaping our lives and the steps we can take to control our minds and harness their power. He goes and discusses the power of our thoughts and how they can either hold us back or again propel us forward. He argues that it is only by taking control of our thoughts and using them to our advantage that we can truly tap into our full potential and achieve actual greatness. He goes into the importance again of developing a positive mindset and how this can help us overcome obstacles and achieve our goals. The power of things like visual visualization, which was discussed earlier, and the power of self-talk you know what, these are all discussed and how techniques, specific techniques like this can help us maintain a positive and outlook and an optimistic outlook, pardon me, even in the face of adversity. In the final chapter, this one is called The Laws of the Heart. And in this chapter, he explores the role that our emotions play in shaping our lives and the steps we can take to harness their power. Goggins starts by discussing the power of our emotions and how they can either hold us back or move us forward. He argues that it is only by taking control of our emotions and using them to our advantage that we can truly tap into our full potential and achieve greatness. The author explains the importance of developing emotional intelligence and how this can help us overcome obstacles and achieve our goals. He also touches on the role that empathy, compassion, and resilience play in this process and how these traits can help us maintain a positive outlook a positive and optimistic outlook, pardon me, even in the face of adversity. The chapter and the book ends with Goggins emphasizing the power of our emotions and they role, the role they play in shaping our lives. Again, he says you got to take control of our emotions and use them to your advantage, maintain your positivity, and you can actually reach your full potential in all areas of our lives. This book is, is just absolutely unbelievable. It is you know, 12 chapters long, but it is full of examples, ideas, things that he does in his real life, and he lives it. I, again, I repeat what I said earlier. He doesn't talk about this like an academic. He is an actual practitioner. Unbelievable book. You got to read it to believe it. Check out. I've got a ton more summaries coming up, guys. Thank you for listening. I'll be back soon with some more stuff.